Matt McCoy was on the scene just after the incident happened and joins us now in the studio with more in our top story. Matt. Thanks, John. It's something no family wants to have happen just two days before Christmas. For the family of Sheriff's Deputy, they're left with a loved one injured. For the family of the suspect, they're now left with a loved one dead. After the search and rescue team has finished searching the area, they make a marking like this, whether it's on the ground or on a building, on the top, 5-3-16-24, meaning that's the date and time that they search this area. Right over here, ALTF-1, meaning the Alabama Task Force 1 was a search and rescue crew that searched this area. Thanks, Gary. You know, when you're raised in Alabama, it's decided for you at birth, whether it's Auburn or Alabama. But what happens when you cross enemy lines? This is WVUA News with special championship week coverage from Alabama's home team. Cafe Du Monde is tucked in right along the French market. In fact, it's one of the oldest markets in the city of New Orleans. And with a menu as simple as beignets and chicory coffee, I had to try it out. Good. And those bricks lead right up to a door that you're greeted with a World War II veteran who shares his story. Among these beautiful tombs that range from architects to the former mayor of New Orleans, we come to this one. Voodoo Queen Marie Laveau. Now, legend has it, you come, you leave something for her, you ask for a favor. You come back, if that favor was granted, legend has it, you put three X's on the tomb. But officials say, if you do that, they could put you in jail. Our own Matt McCoy joins me now live with more on that story. Matt, a, a, a lot of positive things came out of that tragedy. You know, you, you go into all this destruction and devastation in Tuscaloosa, the one thing that you see on a lot of these houses that are completely destroyed, mm -hmm are their Alabama flags. They're still flying and, and showing their tide pride. And that was one thing when I talked to everybody, it was all about the tide helping out the tornado victims and vice versa. Everywhere you look across the storm affected areas in Tuscaloosa, you can see recovery taking place. City leaders say they have several goals they hope to reach before the one year mark. Right over here, there's nothing. That's where they would put the hazards, whether it's big snakes, down trees, down power lines, structural damage, anything that would be harmful to them while they were searching the area. And right here, zero, meaning no people were found in this area. Reporting in Tuscaloosa off Crescent Ridge Road, Matt McCoy, WVUA News. 232 pages. That's how long and complicated the ruling from federal judge Sharon Blackburn was on Alabama's immigration law. But what does this mean for people in West Alabama? And what are the provisions that were let through? And what were the provisions that were blocked? WVUA's Matt McCoy joins us live in the studio with more on towing around Tuscaloosa. Thanks, Lynn and Terry. They were probably some of the most hated people in Tuscaloosa this weekend. No, I'm not talking about the LSU fans that made their trek to Tuscaloosa. I'm talking about the tow truck drivers or wrecker operators, as they like to be called. And on Saturday, we went along for a ride with one of the drivers as he towed some unsuspecting cars. According to Sexton, the sheriff's deputy is still in the hospital but is recovering well. The sheriff's office has now released his identity. Philip.